Hey, this is Dolly Smith. Today I'm going to show you how to shoot some waterborne paint, and I'm also going to show you how to shoot some uh, ceramic clear. Uh, first we have a fender and we've already sanded it and prepped it, cleaned it, and we've already used primer sealer on it. And uh, first I'm going to tack it off. I'm going to tell you a little bit about these uh, waterborne tack rags that they have. Uh, one thing, if you don't pull them apart, it will not release the, uh, the glue in them. So if you're just getting these and using them, it's kind of like using a rag. So you've got to be sure to kind of pull these apart to release the glue. First thing I'm going to do, we will lightly go over this. Let's remove any uh, dirt, lint that might be on the panel. Okay, I went over with that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the spray gun. I've already got it mixed and, and in the gun and ready to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray the spender. And I'll, uh, as I do that, you can kind of see how it is. Uh, the only thing I'm going to mention before I spray is uh, waterborne is a little bit different in solvent. I'm used to talking about a 50% overlap. When using waterborne, you want to tighten that up a little bit. So I'm going to do a 75% overlap. So each coat wants to, you know, you need to overlap it quite a bit more, about you know, 75% opposed to 50%. Another thing is, after I get full hiding, I feel like I've got the color covered as I want. Uh, you'll notice that I'm going to get a little bit further away. I'm going to turn my air pressure down. And I'm going to do a coat at night, and I'm going to overlap 90%. But I'll be going real fast, and it's just kind of even metallic out. Now, with this uh, certain waterborne brand that I'm using, uh, it's a PPG's waterborne. Uh, you have to do this control coat in order to make the metallic layout right. So I'll just go ahead and get started, and you can follow along as I, uh, as I demonstrate. One other thing I'll mention before I start shooting, you'll notice in between coats, I'm going to use an air gun to help blow it off. And that's just to help you evaporate the water to dry it. Okay, I'm going to start off by spraying the back, the edges. And the reason I do the edges first is so that whenever I spray the front of the panel, you know, it helps the metallic layout more even. If I sprayed the, the outer surface first and then went back and sprayed the jams, it may have areas where the metallic lays down different. So I always like doing my edges first. come around here and then get the edges up front that I couldn't get. You know, you got to get all the different angles. Spraying up under it. And once I get all the edges, then I will start spraying the panel. Okay, now I'm going to start spraying the panel. Notice I put the hose over my shoulder for the top when I'm holding the gun over. That way no hose, the hose doesn't drag over there, over the, the paint area. And now I'm using the 75% overlap, which is a little tighter than solvent like I mentioned. And notice I'm keeping the gun straight and I'm going down. And uh, I have to get down here to get to the, the bottom part of this. Now one thing about waterborne is that you know it does require that you air dry it like I mentioned. It doesn't require a lot. Um, more of what you do, or what the process is of using the air that's already being generated in the paint booth and this just kind of helps recirculate the air to help the you know the air that's already being generated recirculate and hit the panel. Uh, it only actually takes a couple of minutes to air dry this and, and you can see the paint will go dull. You can actually see the water evaporate in, in a short time. And the cool thing about this waterborne, as soon as you, it flashes off, as soon as you see that evaporate, you're ready for a second coat. Uh, you don't have to wait you know, any certain time just as you know as long as you can see and it's easy to see I know it's hard to see on video but you can actually see whenever that's dry 
put my second coat on here. Again, I'm doing the jams first, then I'll come around and do the front of the panel. Just a little bit tighter overlap is, you know, one of the things that you have to get uh, used to. It's a little bit different than solvent. Okay, I about got the second coat on, and now I'm going to get the air gun, and I'm going to dry it again. And like I mentioned, you really can't see it in the video, but when you're actually doing this, you can see when it dries really easy. Uh, it's really easy to see the, when it, the water has evaporated. And uh, when this dries, this dries a little bit different than solvent. Solvent dries from the outside in. Uh, this waterborne, it dries from the inside out. So whenever it's dry on the outside, it's dry underneath it as well. Okay, got it all dried off. Now I can immediately come back with the next coat. It looked like it was uh, hiding good, didn't have no hiding problems. So I'm gonna apply some control coats. Now notice I'm adjusting the gun. And what I'm doing is I'm turning the air pressure down because you want less air pressure. And uh, this is also where you're gonna have even a tighter coat, control coat. So I'm getting the back, I'm fogging some. And also notice the gun's further back you know, you want to be about 12 inches back, lower pressure, but a tighter overlap, you know, 80 to 90 percent overlap. So on this first control coat, I'm going to go ahead and do all the edges uh, with a coat, and then I'm going to go do the uh, outside of the panel. And notice that it's, it's uh, I'm going a little faster, but it's really fast. I mean, a real tight overlap. And notice how far again the weight. Uh, how far away the gun is here. And since these are put on not too wet, I mean you're putting them on pretty dry, uh, it, it only takes a few seconds you know, with the, with the air gun. It does not take long at all. And as soon as it's dry, you can uh, put another control coat on. Uh, generally one to two is enough. I'm going to go ahead and put two control coats on this one uh, just to assure all the metallic is uh, laid out right. You don't have any modeling or striping or anything like that. So I got it blew off again and now I'm putting another control coat just on the outside surface. And I'm using the same technique where the gun's back about 12 to 15 inches. Uh, tight overlap, putting it on pretty fast with the lower air pressure. Okay, I've got a video clip here coming in a minute showing me uh, applying the last coat of clear. However, talking about the clear and the first coat, something happened to that video clip. So I'm just going to show some pictures for now. But anyway, this ceramic clear, uh, it sprayed out really nice. This is the first time I ever used it. Now, why we have ceramic clear is because there's some cars like Mercedes and some of the higher end cars that are using ceramic clear from the factory. It's a much harder clear. It's supposed to be mar resistant. Uh, you know, scuffs and you know light abrasions are not supposed to uh, damage this clear like a like the normal clear. Uh, However, you know, I really haven't tested that yet. Haven't seen it in a long time exposure. But, uh, you know, if they're having these sprayed from the factory with this ceramic type clear, you know, you need to be able to have something to spray to have it, you know, pre-accidental condition. So that's why they came out with this ceramic clear. But anyway, I'm just te uh, 
testing it in, the, in this video and, and to show you how to use it and I found it to spray really nice the clear float on it you know it's a, it's a nice looking clear so it mixes a uh, PPG's version I'm sure other paint companies have uh, ceramic clear I'm not sure but it mixes two to one two parts clear to one part harder so I got it mixed up and I sprayed my first coat the directions say the first coat is a medium wet coat wait five minutes and then apply a full wet coat so I've already applied the medium wet coat like I say that part of the video got messed up but now I will start applying the final coat and this is my first time to ever use the clear and as far as you know how mar resistant is it only time will tell but I can say you know I've, I've already mentioned this but man the clear really sprayed out nice and smooth you know I'm really impressed with the way it sprays but time will tell to you know how resistant it is to scuffs and scratches you know from everyday use like washing and drying and things like that Putting on the last coat of clear right now. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, be sure and leave them down in the comment section. And if you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. You know, give us a like. And uh, you can share this with your friends.